strictly speaking uh, today we are going to uh, create the logout functionality and for that first of all we need to uh, get the logout button uh, in the nav menu so for that what we can do we can copy and paste the login sorry login <coughs> button and after sign up we can paste it over here and give it a name logout logout okay let's see logout okay it's not getting a space so that's why it is uh, disappearing or com comes out as a sub menu so what we need to do we need to create some space in the nav bar okay so for that if we reduce the text i think it will do okay navigation 3 if i reduce the text uh, it will get the space i think to recite okay let's see yeah it's getting logout so we will not keep these three buttons all together uh, we will go for conditional rendering if someone uh, lands in first time he will get login and sign off so if he logs in then log on uh, then this button will disappear only logout will be there so if someone logs in first time he will not get the logout button only login and sign up if he logs in he will get uh, only logout button not login and sign up so we will go for conditional rendering after a uh, after two or three videos later so first of all create the functionality first okay so to create the functionality what we need to do we need create the routes first time so to create the route let's go and it would be a get request okay get request and it would be logout route log out and the functionality will be log out also log out and we need to uh, define the functionality over in the uh, router auth router okay okay so we are done it will uh, create some error no problem so go to the logout and create the functionality okay so const logout we can uh, like previously we can direct export export log out export const const log out equal to async request response and in the try cast block in case error console log the error console dot log error so in the try block what we can do we can clear the cookie okay race dot clear cookie clear cookies not cookies clear cookie and its name is you see its name is token previously we defined its name is token so give it a name it names should be similar otherwise it will not work okay token and give it a message return response dot json message sign out success sign out success su double c su double c e double sign out success so i think it will do but in the front end we need also we need two things to done okay 
so what do you want to do if we go for login you see mm, it should be key okay we, later we are going to give it say if you don't provide the key mm, login if you don't provide the key or main menu key like it will provide some error so if you let's go and get rid of the error save key and give it a name log out log out okay i think the problem will be solved uh, same login same key login i give log out mm, oh sorry sorry i give the wrong place oh key is over there but uh, login log out okay i think it will solve the problem okay problem is solved okay so what we want to do over here you see whenever we log in it redirects to front page but go to the network tab go to login you see we have the cookie mm. no this login not this login it seems to me the different cookie oh yeah is this is on we got the token in the name of token so we want to remove it and another thing we want to do that and that is only from the context provider we have the user and we want to remove this these two things will be null and then uh, the user will be log out okay and we will then uh, redirect him to another page so we have done the back end portion now go to the front end and uh, include the functionality over here okay so we want to create logout functionality in our front end also so let's create a function over here const logout okay and async and okay give dispatch 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 a type over here for the context api type logout logout then remove the user token then window window local dot local storage local storage remove item and it should be user in the name of user as as you see we have the name as a user so it should be removed by this name okay user user const then we need axios also data equal to await await axios axios dot get as we are creating get request so it should be api slash logout okay and then we need a toast notification toast toast dot success toast dot success equal to data dot message data dot message then we need to push we, we need to redirect okay so router dot push we need to import these things but we are doing it a late, little bit later push we want to push it login page login page okay we are done so we need to bring these things so import import 
uh, first of all we need to have context okay context from from context okay then what we need to do we need import axios as we are using axios from from axios okay we need toastify okay import toast from react toastify we need use router import 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 use router use router from next router next dot router and we need to const router equal to use router so we, we are pretty good to go i think let's see it is showing any errors or not okay so in the console and no errors we are seeing okay let's see let's first of all log in and and then log out yeah log out so we don't get any user over here you see user is null oh no we are getting the user let's see the network tab oh yeah uh, what's wrong we have forgotten to bring the functionality over here let's see we need to uh, bring the functionality on click we have forgotten to do it uh, we don't need any link over here because uh, by link we don't like to redirect it merely will be the text over here okay so how do we on click give it on click here on click bring the functionality log out okay i think this time it will work let's see so first of all login login let's see we have the token over here and you go to user context we have the user you see user okay and then log out let's see we are finding errors where is the error let's check dispatch uh, is not defined dispatch is not defined okay let's check yeah we have did uh, did not we are using dispatch but we have not defined it so let's do it so const cons state dispatch dispatch ptc is state dispatch use context then context okay i think this time it will work let's see let's reload it uh reference here use context main nav state reference here use context is not defined so let's define the use context errors are very developer friendly okay no problem uh, next router react 
and use it over here use context then let's see use co to define context okay import import context from Uh, solved all the errors we define logged out in on click function logout will work and we have done everything let's see so first of all login let's see login and network tab login we are getting the token and user context context provider values state we got the user and let's see if we go for logout what happens logout is not defined sorry we have uh, gave log out over here Con no context index login or oh, wrongly wrongfully we have give mm, dispatch type okay log out is not defined is because you see log out is not defined log out because we don't give it a clone over here okay I think for that reason it's creating problem. Let's see. Okay, we are still now login. Let's log out. Yeah, sign our success. Boom, we are successful. And see, we have user is null and go to the network tab and see. Uh, log out, go to log out. We have no cookie over here and go to preview payload sign out success okay we are successful so let's log in once again and go for log out you see sign out success boom so our functionality is done so next in the from the next video we will conditional rendering our nap and uh, as we have uh, user in our context api or components so we can uh, user based we can go for user based authentication or login if a normal user then he will get in a certain route if he's in a stack or if he's a super admin or admin he will get another routes okay so if you like the video please like share and subscribe and stay tuned see you soon thank you very much